G'day viewers, this is a quick tutorial on getting up and running with the BR612 on the Taranda Ramp Dresden Cheminitz route with safety systems turned on. So let's do this. Okay, first thing we need to do is get our reverser key in there and we need to put our brake key in and turn it on. Next thing we're going to do is go and turn our safety systems on and that's back here through the passenger cabin open up this cabinet and there's three switches CIFA, PZB and GNT. GNT is very much optional so CIFA is your vigilance, PZB is your signalling and speed governance and GNT um, gives you some different displays for the tilting system which lets you go faster than the line speed. You don't have to actually turn on GNT to be able to do that though. Alright we are nearly there now we want to turn the power on to the train and we want to turn on GST which is our tilting system and that'll start doing a self test and you'll feel the train start to move there we go even though you're only watching it on a screen it's a bit sickening tilty tilty back it goes again okay let's jump back in the cab once that finishes you can open your doors. I use the rail driver then, but you can use the Y or the U, or you can even use the door controls here in the cab if you want to. Now we have got horn, emergency brake down here, normal brake handle, which for me I use the rail driver brake. Move that to my heart's content. Lots of lighting switches, sander, cabin lights. We'll cover the forward in a moment. The other one we want to do is actually set the headlights up. There we go. So, whoops, headlights. There we go. Now we've got headlights on the front. Just before we had tail lights, we've got our PZB acknowledge and release and override buttons down here. Over here we've got the door controls for this side and same over here door controls for this side or you can choose to use the keyboard buttons you can also open the windows it's time to lock the doors so we shall do that let's close them again and let's get this train moving and show you how to start and stop okay reverse it into forwards now the throttle's a bit interesting with the rail driver so let's just show you so you bring your, it's a hydraulic system, and I have, oops, I've got a brake on, that's what's going on there. That was silly. Alright, pull this down and you can see the power number's increased. Flick it off and pull it again. Similarly, if you're using the keyboard or the controller, you can just use the normal device that you use to increase or decrease. Whatever keys you normally use. increase like that. Now if you go the other way, you decrease beyond zero, you actually start slowing the train down using the hydraulic power. And they call it dynamic brakes in the game, but it's not really. Q to reset CIFA as usual. And brakes on using the brake lever or your normal controls. Uh, that is pretty much it, I'm afraid. If you um, want to see this thing actually going through the tilting and see a bit of GNT in action, um, and you'll get some displays here that tells you how fast you can go, or you can just turn on the HUD and use that, whichever way you want to do it. Uh, please watch the review video, because there's a, a long run with this train on that one. All right, we're done. Bye now. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.